there. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, with the holidays, things were just a little too hectic. I had a lot of family visiting for almost over a month, and so finding time to film and edit videos has been kind of difficult. But it's a new year, so hopefully this year I'll be making more videos. I've got a lot of ideas on tutorials and reviews and kind of more of a question and answer type video. Today we're going to do a question I get a lot, which is kind of how to get up the courage to wear wigs and will people know that I'm wearing a wig when I go out. So will people know you're wearing a wig? No. Yes. Maybe. It really depends on what kind of wig you're wearing as well as what kind of person you're meeting as to whether they're going to know that you're wearing a wig. There are two types of people who are almost always going to be able to spot that you're wearing a wig. And the first is a hairstylist. Um, hairstylists are experts. They deal with people and their hair every single day and they will really be able to spot wigs, hair extensions, toppers, um, because that's what they do. And most of them are very nice and they're either not going to say anything to you at all or they're going to say, oh, I like your hairdo. Um, because most of them know how important hair is to someone's self-confidence and how your hair is kind of tangled up in your idea of beauty. Um, and the other type of person who will almost always know that you're wearing a wig are other wig wearers. You will find when you start wearing wigs and you go out and you sit in a restaurant and you start looking around at the other people, you're gonna notice, oh, that lady's got a wig on and that lady's got hair extensions and that one over there is wearing fake bangs. You start to be more aware of other people's hairstyles <laughs> more than you ever were before. Um, and that's just because you're conscious of hair probably more than you used to be. There's nothing wrong with that in this kind of a community. You might look at somebody and say, oh, I really like how your hair is today, but you're not gonna call that person out um, or try to be rude to them, even if they're wearing something that looks really, really poofy and fake, um, just because most people have really good manners. Um, the other people in your life who are gonna know are obviously the people who are the closest to you. And hopefully that first time you wear a wig, You'll say, hey, please don't laugh at me. I'm trying something new um, to try to make my life a little more easier. And normally they are pretty understanding. Um, but sometimes they, they won't know either. If they don't live in the same house with you and see you getting ready, they might not know that you're wearing a wig unless they see you on a daily basis. Um, for example, I saw my brother, who I only see a couple of times a year, and I had a wig on and he had no idea, even though that wig was longer than my hair and had like five times more volume than my hair ever had, he totally didn't know until um, I told him. So um, even your family can be pretty <laughs> clueless onto whether that's your real hair or not your real hair. Um, now, it matters what kind of wig you wear. If you are trying to not be open about your wigs when you go out um, with people who have met you before you want to stick to wigs that match your own hair color from your natural hair and kind of match the same length and the same volume of hair which it can be at first a little hard to find that perfect color but once you do people really won't notice and if it's a shade darker or lighter you can just say oh i put some temporary hair color in my hair to try something new and most people will never know the difference. Um, for example, I live um, in Texas and I work at a fairly conservative place and I wear wigs or toppers almost every single day and I've never had anyone at work say, oh, what kind of wig are you wearing? They'll just occasionally be like, oh, your hair looks really nice today or you got your hair done. And I'm like, oh yeah, I straight ironed it today and got it dyed. But I don't necessarily be like, oh yeah, it's a wig because it's just not that type of a workplace. Um, but when you go out in public, um, for me, when I started wearing wigs, um, I also have social anxiety, so I was really nervous, like a lot of people are. And I found that if I went across town to a grocery store or a movie theater 
or post office or something where I don't necessarily have a relationship with those people and they're not really giving me the time of day, that I can kind of build that confidence of, oh, okay, um, I do look all right. No one's gonna know that I've got fake hair on. And I would encourage you just to kind of be open with the people closest to you and let them know how important it is to you um, to look good, which is, there's no shame in wanting to look nice. If your hair is like mine, it's super thin or you have bald spots, um, wearing helper hair can really help you. It can really boost your confidence and your self-esteem and really get you to engage more with people. One way to kind of respond when somebody compliments you that you might not be used to is just say thank you. You don't have to get into, oh, it's a wig or it's not my real hair or it's fake. They don't care. They're just trying to say, hey, you look nice. And all you need to say is, oh, thanks. Um, <clears throat> and if you're out in public and somebody asks you if you're wearing a wig and you're not comfortable saying that you are wearing fake hair, there are two options. You can say, oh, I just got my hair done. <clears throat> or, oh, I'm just wearing hair extensions. And most people will go about their business and not question you on it. Will people know I'm wearing a wig? Yes. Now the question is why? Because this wig is A, too shiny, so it might not pick up, and it's not really designed for me. This weird kind of flared out stuff is not particularly common. It's also very strangely um, cut, long and short. <laughs> so even though this fiber is very soft, this wig looks wiggy. So when you put on a wig and you're worried about going out, if it looks really, really obvious to you, it might be obvious to other people. So <clears throat> wear your wigs around the house for a couple of hours or a day to get comfortable in them and used to them and then decide, hmm, maybe that style or maybe that color or that level of density doesn't look natural. And if it doesn't look natural for you and you don't feel confident, you're not gonna be confident when you leave your house. So get a wig that you love and wear that out. So um, as always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe.